Welcome to the Global Gaming Business Podcast, the industry's first and longest running podcast now in our 17th year. I'm Roger Gross, the publisher of GGB, and this week we sit down with Jennifer Fales, the Vice President of Global Licensing for IGT, on the 25th anniversary of the Wheel of Fortune and its culmination on the actual TV program. The GGB Podcast is sponsored by IGT. Give your players what they came for with IGT's top performing themes featuring the biggest jackpots. IGT's wide area progressives draw a crowd on every casino floor. Visit IGT.com for more information. Welcome to the Global Gaming Business Podcast. This week, IGT and Sony Pictures is just wrapping up a year-long 25th anniversary of the most uh, important and recognized slot product of all time, the Wheel of Fortune slots. Uh, this milestone was celebrated with an air uh, integration on the TV show Wheel of Fortune uh, called Big Money Week. And uh, we're sitting here with Jennifer Fales, the IGT uh, Vice President of Global Licensing, to talk about uh, what happened and how uh, during the campaign and why it was such a great success. Jennifer, thanks for joining us. It's great to see you here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's an exciting time for IGT. I mean, uh, this was a, a big year. I remember the launch at, at G2E, and, uh, and here we are right toward the end of it. So uh, let's talk about you for a minute, though. You've been sure. with IGT for quite some time. Uh, how did you uh, evolve into this role you know, overseeing the, this uh, great celebration? Yeah, so I have I have been with IGT for 10 years, almost 10 years, and I've gotten to touch WAF in, in a variety of different capacities. I was actually on the marketing side of the business when we celebrated our 20th anniversary, okay. and then moved over into the licensing world, and have now gotten to work with our marketing teams, product teams, and now we're celebrating our 25th anniversary. Great, and you've done, done this all under 40 because you were one of our 40 under 40 a few years ago yes and, uh, yes it's great to see that, that we've we've chosen correctly here you've, oh thank you you've, you've made, a, <laughs> made a, quite an impact in the business so let's talk about the campaign then yes. uh, you know um you know, we've, we've covered this several times down through the, mm -hmm. this year, uh, and it began, as I said, at G2E. So, so walk me through how, how it was set up and, and how it has, has worked uh, for you guys. Yeah, it's actually, you have to go back to 2019. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a bit of an interesting story, as with, with many other things, COVID turned everything on its head. So we had a plan, very well baked, very developed. We had vetted through Sony, everybody was sort of on board and excited, and that was at the end of 2019, and then COVID hit. And of course, everything changed, and the plan that we had put in place, and you know, we had buy-in across all of the different groups, that plan had to be completely changed, because it just right. wasn't feasible in a post-COVID world. So I think our teams did a phenomenal job of pivoting, coming up with a whole new campaign, um, and we really focused on a 25-week celebration. Mm -hmm. So our Wheel of Fortune license covers all of our channels, gaming, digital betting, um, lottery. And so, you know, we really worked, we tried to work across all of the groups and we came up with this 25 weeks of WAF. Um, so there was social presence, digital presence, um, out of home advertising, print advertising. We ran contests, we partnered with operators. Um, we had a splash of G2E at NIGA with the Golden Knights, with the Silver Knights. We wrapped our roadshow trailer. So really, every touch point as much as possible is 25 years of Wheel of right. Fortune for the last right. 12 months. Well, that, uh, that makes a lot of sense it could be because it is the most popular slot theme of all time. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I know that, that it's earned the most money of any slot machine of all time, so that's, uh, that's good for you, both you and the operators, I'm mm -hmm. sure. So, so uh, it, it's ending with kind of a splash here yes. uh, with the, the, the TV integration on, mm -hmm. on the Wheel of Fortune. Let's take a look at that uh, before we go any further so you can see how they did it. Can you believe it's the 25th anniversary of the iconic Wheel of Fortune slot machine? We're happy to be partnering with our friends at IGT, the company that makes these slots, for Big Money Week to celebrate. Talk about big money. These slots have made over 1,100 people millionaires. $3.3 billion in jackpot prizes awarded. Let's play. Definitely. Uh, we'll see you. Okay, so tell us how that came about. Uh, you know, we've always seen uh, Vanna White at, at the trade shows, and uh, she's always been so personable. Mm -hmm. so, and and uh, obviously, Pat's very involved in this too. So, how did how did you get that to happen? 
So as we created our, our, our new plan, we were really focused on operators and players and employees. And you know, as we had started to have discussions with Sony and present our ideas, you know, it quickly evolved into a collaboration of you know, how do we reach beyond those three audiences and, and really touch the masses. And of course, the best vehicle for that is sure. the show. So through our collaboration with Sony and just iterative discussions, we came up with this idea of, you know, Big Money Week. And we were able to partner with MGM and with Carnival Cruise Lines. And we have this whole five days of shows airing that, that really celebrate 25 years of Wheel of Fortune. So you'll see 12 of our games on set. You'll see logos and graphics. There's a, a 15 second brand spot. So it's, it's just been a really exciting collaboration to really allow this celebration to end in, in really the biggest way possible by, by using the show vehicle sure. to, to make everybody aware of what, you know, of what we're celebrating. Sure. Well, obviously, it's such a great theme with a uh, you know very easy to understand, and uh, it translates so so much to a slot machine. Have you ever seen it? How, well, how it has impacted the show going the other way? I mean, obviously, it impacts your business with with the slots, but did the popularity of, of the slots uh, kind of make the the show a little bigger? Or? I mean, I think it does. I think it always helps. I mean, any 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 touch point where the brand is in front of the consumer and knowing the quantity of machines that we have spread out over over the United States and you know, knowing that we're celebrating a jackpot hit. We've made 1,100 millionaires. I think all of that, you know, the breadth of the product offering, crossing all channels, this jackpot legacy, I think, I think of course, it does. It, sure. it ties back. Sure. Now, Sony Pictures is a pretty big company, you know? yes. <laughs> and and even Wheel of Fortune is still a big big part of their mm -hmm. uh, business as well. But mm -hmm. uh, how how invested were they in in this uh, collaboration here? They they've been very invested. I mean, twenty five years, right? right? So definitely in the celebration, but also just as as partners in everything that we do and the products we bring to market. You know, the marketing campaigns. It's really been a phenomenal partnership. Banna has you know sure. been part of it as well. We've been able to capture some custom video and photography we've had her g2e and she's just a delight to work with so i think uh, you know all around everybody is very heavily invested sure sure um so you you had had them at the trade shows and and you know I, i've met her a couple of times mm -hmm. and she's very friendly and yes. uh, you know uh, it's not like let's get this over with you know, exactly she, she's she's really definitely interested in, in meeting everybody that, mm -hmm. that comes up there so th she must be a really big, important uh, keystone of this program yeah yep having her at g2e was was definitely a big objective um we had her at g2e for the 20th and um, you know, presented a key to the city. She unveiled one of our new our, our new cabinets, the Mega Tower. Um, and you know, what bigger way to celebrate than have her G two E? We were releasing or kind of debuting a new tournament product, so she hosted a celebrity tournament. Like I said, we've done some custom photo shoots with her video, and um, when we came out with our first Wheel of Fortune 4D game, it was featuring Vanna White, and it's probably one of our best performing 4D games. Um, and so, you know, the, the players love to see her, and she is just such a delight to work with that, you're right, it's it's, it's different than other celebrities might be, and right. she, I think she really enjoys it. Sure, sure. So, you know, I think this is different probably for every every game, but uh, what, what makes it so popular? Why, why do players relate so much, so well to this game? I think first and foremost, it's, it's the jackpot, and it's chasing the wheel spin mm -hmm. to hit a jackpot. You know, we've made over 1,100 millionaires. We've given away over $3.4 billion in jackpots, mm -hmm. and I think people enjoy chasing that jackpot. But... You know, beyond that, I think even for more of a casual player, it's it's all of those iconic elements to the show. It's it's the tick of the wheel. It's the chant wheel right. of fortune. It's seeing band. I mean, mm -hmm. all of these iconic, you know, iconic elements that make this the true, original, authentic wheel game. I think you know draws players and non-players alike. I mean, I can't I can't tell you how many of my friends say like, we don't play, but we'll put twenty dollars in wheel of fortune. Right. Yeah. That's it. Right. Exactly. So. Well, it, you know, it is uh, you know, such uh, such a, an iconic game. People really enjoy it. Uh, so, what the operators? Do they they have to have this on their floor? I mean, basically, I mean, it, it seems like every every casino I go into, I can find a Wheel of Fortune game. Yeah, it's like you know, I think players demand it. Players want to see it, and you know, they expect to see their their favorite games. Mm -hmm. So, yes. 
How about when you come out with the new games? I mean, there's, there's, you've, you've had a lot of different varieties of Wheel of Fortune games. Uh, I mean, are some of them more successful than others? Yeah, I think you're always going to see some be more successful mm -hmm. than others. Some of it ties to hardware. Some of it's just the game itself. But you know, for, for the most part, if you look at Eilers reporting or anything else, you know, our Wheel of Fortune games are, are pretty sure. successful. Yeah. With 25 years of experience, we. We know what the players want and sure. what they expect, yeah. and we have fantastic studio teams delivering on the products across all of our channels. Great. Well, uh, as as someone who's uh, you know doing research into online gaming, uh, mm -hmm. I see uh, Wheel of Fortune on the online sites as mm -hmm. well. Uh, how do, how has that been working for you? So Wheel of Fortune really crosses and touches all players. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, lottery, online gaming. We have a fantastic and very successful um, omni-channel product in Canada, Wheel of Fortune Power Box. Mm -hmm. So we're converging the jackpots. I think that you know it's just a brand that is just synonymous and integral of gaming. And no matter what channel you're in, you know, players expect to see certain games. And right. we've had great success with you know Wheel of Fortune online, particularly as the U.S. market has evolved and developed. Sure. How does the uh, how does the uh, jackpot build up? I mean, in, t in different in those different areas. I mean, mm -hmm. online is it just in, in that one casino that you're involved in, or, or is it across all, all online casinos? Of course, in legal jurisdictions. Yes, yeah, so most of our um, Wheel of Fortune product is a wide area progressive, right. so linked beyond just the, the physical product in the casino. We do have some games that are just linked within, but most are linked more broadly, and right. that's what really allows this, you know, this liquidity pool to build the jackpots to hit more frequently, sure. and, and to allow us to make these such such winning jackpot games. Right. So, like in, in an individual state, would that just be linked in the state, say if in Atlantic City? Would it just be in Atlantic City, or would they that go over maybe to Delaware too? Or yeah, I think it, a lot of it depends on the jurisdiction. You're getting yeah. a little outside my area of expertise, well, sure that's, uh, but there's some tribal links or here, commercial right? links. But yes, <laughs> right. I mean you you are crossing it and pooling many more games than just what is in an individual right. okay. casino. Right. So again, we've seen so many different varieties of these yes. games. Uh, you know, uh, I, I remember the one that you had looked like the actual wheel. And Super it was, spin. Uh, the community. Uh, Super spin. Right, right. And then, uh, and then now you have the huge cabinet, you mm -hmm. know, one, which is, uh, you know, mm -hmm. you can see that from across the casino. Uh, uh, so what's new for Wheel of Fortune? What, what's going to come out? So I mean, we... So we showed a tournament product at G2E that okay. is, is going to start to, to mm -hmm. come into the market. And I think this is exciting because tournaments have always been an important part of Wheel of Fortune and our tournament kind of software and hardware had been older. And so I think it's really exciting that these games can be in tournament mode, they can also be in wager mode. And I think it's something that operators have been asking for. So I think that's, that's a very interesting product. And then we also announced at the end of last year a new, speaking of omni-channel, converged jackpot product that we'll be releasing in New Jersey. Jersey later this year, so we'll be able to link online Wheel of Fortune games to land-based oh, Wheel of Fortune games. Development. So it'll be, I think, the first time in the United, in the U.S. Yeah, and so that'll launch in New Jersey, and then you know we have we have some other surprises up our sleeve yeah. that you know well, everybody we'll will wait, get to see. Wait to G2E to see that, right? <laughs> exactly. How about internationally? Does it, does this game perform internationally as well? I, I'm not sure if it's on, uh, you know, the the European television stations or. I mean, we do have Wheel of Fortune product in other countries. Uh -huh. um, I think the, the 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 main impact, at least for our business, is in the U.S. and Canada. But you know, it is a worldwide brand. Sure. It has been syndicated, you know, mm -hmm. a, a, around the globe. So it definitely has a global presence as well. Yeah. Great, great. Well, Jennifer, it's an exciting uh, time for you just yes. to, to be wrapping this up, and yes. uh, congratulations on, on pulling it off, especially with the challenges that COVID brought, yes. but uh, it seems Thank like you, you did. So uh, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm pleased that we got to sit down and talk to you about it, and then hopefully we'll, we'll catch up again soon later. Great. Thank you very much. I appreciate the time. Great. Hope you enjoyed this week's podcast with thanks again to IGT. Give your players what they came for with IGT's top performing themes featuring the biggest jackpots. Visit IGT.com for more information. To learn more about the Wheel of Fortune games and all other slots, visit GGBmagazine.com. Subscribe to GGB News to get all the news of the gaming industry delivered to your desktop every Monday morning. Sign up at GGBnews.com and use the coupon code GGB180 for a free subscription. Don't miss a single episode of the podcast. Subscribe on Amazon, Apple Podcasts, or Spotify today. So we'll see you next time on the GGB Podcast.